There's a big difference between manga and comics, particularly when it comes to making money. Demon Slayer is set to bestow nearly $2 billion on Japan's economy. And what's crazy about this is Demon Slayer is kind of new. It's really not that old, and it's hitting that mark already. It's, it's kind of been a cultural phenomenon, not just in Japan either, by the way. It's, it's doing well globally. So well, in fact, that only a few other properties have even, have even managed this kind of feat. Uh, they note here that some of the only ones to do something like this have been Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, and Slam Dunk. It's a rare boom in the manga market, is what, is what Demon Slayer has created. Manga's been a hot thing over the past two years. Not even the Koof could stop it. In fact, the Koof kind of helped it grow even more, if you ask me. Unfortunately, American comic books didn't get to enjoy any of this. No one really gives a damn about them. And that's for good reason. They're just not that good. Most of them are just woke political propaganda books. And the creators aren't very nice. Look at this. This happened over the weekend. Tom King, who's currently writing the Rorschach comic book, best known for his Batman run, which was so awful and such a poor seller. Well, it was starting to go down in sales. They took him off of it and let him finish his series in a miniseries. Like, literally, they took him off of the main book, let him finish his book in a miniseries, and had somebody run in and quickly change the story over because they didn't like what he was doing, but they still keep him around. Uh, his writing, is, it sucks. All of his characters are depressed losers who seem to just loathe themselves and simp over women, at least in his Batman run. This some, it, became, it started off actually okay, and then it just came so off the rails. It, it, just, it was a terrible run. There's, I think I, I covered some of them. Your boy Zach over at Comics Matter, I think he reviewed every issue. So if you're looking to see just how bad that run was, uh, you can go check that out. Well, look how this guy talks to fans. And apparently he's a liar. He first came out and said this. This is what he says, okay? He's trying to, he's trying to simp and virtue signal to his comic friends on Twitter. He says, love seeing people at cons, but yesterday... We had a Rorschach cosplayer took his mask off at her table. You think I swear a lot in comics? You should see me in person. After an impolite talking to, Rorschach was ex escorted from the con. Wear your mask. We're not effing around. It turns out this was a lie. Uh, according to the con itself, no one uh, was escorted out. There were no incidents. So he literally just put this up there to be a tough guy. And anybody that's read <laughs> Tom King's comics, you know this guy is not a tough guy. If anything, he's kind of a poser. His big credibility for comics is that he was in the CIA. He must have been pushing pencils or something. I don't think this guy did field work at all. He tries to act like a tough guy. does this stuff all the time. Got called out on it, basically. There were no incidents at Awesome Con. He ends up rewriting the story and telling it differently like three times. And basically, uh, that was that's pretty much it. It's just funny to see like this stuff happen. This is this is this is the type of people that work in the comic book industry. Fake tough guys, simps, progressives, stuff like that. Like that's all you're going to find. And then, you know, a lot of female creators all far left. All of them. You also have people like this. Want to jump in and uh, talk shit about independent creators. Patch Zerker says this. Or Zercher 
thinking of joining Comicsgate, counting the rooms and then mailing them a woke liberal progressive comic. Cecil from Cecil says had a good thing. He said on Twitter where he said, <laughs> he said, no one walks into a comic book store and asks for the latest Patrick Zercher. <laughs> and he's absolutely 100% correct. So he's going on making fun of that community, which is funny because that community actually supports its creators. Uh, Jerry Ordway comes in. He writes currently the Batman 1889, 1989 book, which I will not be buying the second issue of now. And says, it's a shame that the liberals aren't throwing money at non-CG creators like the CG crowds are willing to do to own the libs. I mean, look at that Trump crowd fundraising. They are being fleeced for hundreds of millions. This is a really good example of what mainstream comic books are because see how it is? Right? You're only allowed to be on the left. This is why when people say if you're conservative, you get banned out of mainstream comics because it's true. Uh, everyone has this kind of thinking. There's only one direction for thinking and political thought. If you, have, if you step out of line on that, you're gone. So I won't be supporting this guy's comics. I mean, my comic book list is beginning smaller and smaller. I'm happy to make it even smaller. Uh, I didn't particularly think your writing was anything great. And this is the problem. Like, he's got the right political views. So, he, bam, he's in. The quality of the creator's work doesn't matter as much as the way they politically think. That's the biggest problem with mainstream comics, if you want my honest opinion. This is why we don't have a mainstream comic book pumping $2 billion into our economy. <laughs> because everybody everybody that effing makes comics here in the West is a joke. With the exception of a very small amount of people. And the ones that are in the mainstream, they're not doing well. This is from Vice. It's impossible to make money for most writers and artists in comics. Actually spilling page rates of the mainstream creators. Now, DC seems like that's the place to work. Check this out. A survey of 123 creators in 2015, Marvel offered an average rate of $81 per page for writers, $372 for line art. DC's breakdown was broadly similar, $111 for writers, $352 for line art. In 2017, the average per the average page rate for writing was $60, and the average page rate for line art was $173. DC fared slightly better with an average of $99 per uh, writing. Uh, they could not determine the page rate for line art. So. This is one of the problems. See, these people have ran comic books so far into the ground that they're not really making that much money now when they're creating them. So one of the things that they're doing is they're just hiring cheap people. All the talented people, they're doing their own thing. All of the bums, the losers, they're still working for the big two and they're making pennies. They're making pennies and they're taking a lot of their frustrations out on the fans. If you step to them, you know, how dare you? They'll come after you. Get people like Tom King. Though Tom King's probably making more than that. People that have a big name could probably usually get a little bit more than the average page rate. But for the most part, a lot of these like woke losers, they're not making any money. This is why you literally see them begging with GoFundMes to pay their rent. Because, <laughs> you know, it, things are so bad and it's going to keep getting worse. These comics are making money. Why would they pay them more? Uh, this, this whole article here from Vice is saying pay, pay the artists more money. Well, they're not making en enough money to pay them more money. Where's the justification to pay them more money? Now, the argument to, to uh, pay manga creators more money, uh, absolutely stand by that. It's, you're putting $2 billion in the Jap Japanese economy? Yeah, pay them more. But the, ass the asshats that are making American comics and doing a terrible job at it, they don't deserve more money. They deserve less uh, less money because they're losing money for the comp. Anyway, I just don't feel bad for these people. They've spent the past couple of years telling us if you don't like our politics, don't buy our books. And now I'm supposed to be feel bad because you're not making any money. You literally tell me to F off every day. Uh, so, you know, I did. And now I read manga 
<laughs> and I'm a lot happier, to be honest. And I don't think I'm the only one. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you are still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.